Hey y'all, what's prepping? I just got back from traveling to visit family for the holidays and right when we got back home, guess where I went? The Dollar Tree! <laughs> My son had a party that he was going to for their teen group at church and I was up in that area. I decided to go to the Dollar Tree to just see how the store looked. It was three days after Christmas. Wanted to see how the store looked to see if there was anything in there. And do you know what? When I got in there, I was shocked. They had Valentine's stuff out already in the corner, usually where the Christmas stuff is. And the shelves were full of stuff in the food area. They had all these canned goods. They had shelf-stable milk, hard candies. They had brand new storage things. So let's just get right into it. Let me show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. By the way, our Dollar Tree is still $1 for everything. They have not raised their prices in the store in my town yet. So I am going to be visiting often to just keep stockpiling anything that's related to storage like this, for example. This thing is actually super big. So I got five of these, okay, and I'm going to put these on storage shelves or in my pantry or around the house somewhere. We're just going to use them to put stuff in. I put some stuff in it. When I was shopping, I just told the, the girl at the cashier lane, I said, just go ahead and put stuff in the buckets. I don't need bags. So um, so we'll just start with what's in here, okay? Um, I got some of these drop cloths that they had there. My son's going to be painting his room, so I went ahead and got some of these. I got a package of black beans and a package of white northern beans. Two cans of Manwich, and these are the 15 ounce cans, so they're not small. No shrinkflation going on here yet, okay? And then I got another two cans of pork and beans, and this is the big size. Then I found my body wash that I used, and y'all, this was the last bottle. I looked everywhere. They had all kinds of other things out on the shelf, but they did not have this. This was the last one, so I picked it up. I found these two signs, and they have the these beads right now. They're really popular. This type of sign is popular. What I'm going to do is actually find some kind of a picture pattern, something to put in here, and I'm going to make something that I found at Joanne Fabrics when they had their fall decor items come out. They had something that looked just like this, a frame that had these beads at the top and it had us just a paisley type of design right here and they wanted $40 for that. And I was like, nah, -uh. so these 50 cents, I'm gonna turn it into a, a gem. Then I got another package of tape. I had to replace the tape that we used to wrap Christmas presents. They had a bunch of Betty Crocker storage items. It's a Betty Crocker brand, so it should be pretty good, but I wanted to just try these out and see how they hold up when we use leftovers and stuff. I got two more candles. Bread was in stock, so we got two packages of bagels, and there are four bagels in each package, so we got some of these. And I got a package of English muffins. Look at that, this whole package. A dollar. What are these things like? Two fifty, almost three dollars in a grocery store. That was a nice find. Then we got two packages of these cookies from Goya. Um, my daughter likes these. Are just plain, um, like just little sugar cookies. Okay, and then they had a bunch of flavors of these Brunswick tuna salad and cracker snack meals, whatever. And you know these are these are great for a light lunch. Um, we found a bunch of different flavors. They had lemon pepper. I had um, just regular, and then we had one that was um, a chicken salad as well. There were several different flavors. Usually these aren't out, and then they had the tuna pouches as well. We didn't get tuna pouches this time. We just got these. And then these are something I have not seen in a long time. These are um, packaged cookies, and I forget how many are each, two, probably six in each package. And um, there's different flavors in here. So there's two, four, six, eight. There's 10 packages of cookies in here. Let's see, they have banana cream, orange cream, vanilla cream, vanilla cream on chocolate cookie, strawberry cream on the vanilla cookie. So, I mean, they have all these different flavors. I also found this strawberry hard candy. My kids love this. Um, <clears throat> they call it grandma candy because you know, when you went to your grandma's house, you usually had this out. So, we got a couple bags of this and we got the cinnamon candy. And this is my favorite. I love these cinnamon discs. And so, we found bags of these so I got four bags of candy 
I found two packages of folders. I've been finding that since I've been trying to categorize and organize my preps, finding that I need to have so many folders. So I got uh, two packs of folders. There's three folders in each. So I got some of those. I also got two shower curtains. These are clear. Usually they don't have these, but they had an abundance of clear shower curtains. Package of gum. Okay, there's four packages in there. Um, and then we got two packages of band-aids. Now these are just regular band-aids. They come in clear and then the regular, um, the regular color. I don't even know what you call it. In the medical section, in the health and medical section, they had these vitamin C uh, drops. And so I got a couple packages of these. Then in the home care tool area, found this package of tweezers. There's different ones in here. These aren't for your eyebrows, okay? These are for things that you might need to get into. You might be, you need to, you know, get into small places and get things out. That That's what these are for. And also this inspection mirror, okay? And it also will get longer so you can get into small places so you can see if there's something and then you can use your tweezers to get it out <laughs> they didn't have this for the longest time and now they have it they have dentec and this is the stuff that you would repair um you know like a filling or a cap or something where you would need to um put this on your tooth take care of that you know you don't want to have dental problems this could tide you over till you get to a dentist. I have heard from other people that this actually does a good job. It's for a dollar. It has five repairs. And so now I have one, two, three. I have four packages of these now that will give us 20 repairs. Some of their spring stuff is out. And so I found uh, some garden gloves. Um, that's a goal I have coming up for next year is to get gardens going and I need stuff to protect my hands and also they have little grippies on them and so I'm looking forward to using these. I'll probably go through a lot of those. <laughs> had some freeze-dried fruit but this, the only ones that they had available this time were strawberries and so I got three packages of freeze-dried strawberries okay and these are great to put uh, cereal toppers. Put them on your oatmeal to dress it up. And then I got some yogurt covered cranberries. I got a package of Detox Boost Tea. And this has turmeric, chai masala, rose hip and hibiscus, and green tea. The rose hips and hibiscus is the antioxidant part of the tea. Turmeric is good for inflammation and also cleansing the body. And then the rest, the chai and the green tea, is that's just the base of the tea and that's the good flavor. So um, this, if you find this at your dollar store, I'll get some and stock up on that. I, it's a really good tea. And then these are um, like little wet wipes. And instead of getting a package that has like 30 wipes in it and you pull one out at a time, sometimes those can get dried out before you can use them all. These are individually wrapped and I love these. You don't have to worry about um, that pack of wipes going dry. There's 15 of them in the box. And let's see, I got some more of the, the sicky mouthwash. <laughs> I've said it before, a help, healthy mouth, healthy throat is one way you can help yourself to keep the germs from getting into your body or you know, getting sinus infections and things like that. So that's your health tip for the day from your sassy gal. So I got two almond milks and then I got two whole milk. So they haven't had this in a while and so I wanted to make sure I grabbed some. We're heading into January, y'all, and and the 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 signs are there, the warnings are there, all, everything. And everyone's telling us about you know, shortages, supply chains, prices going up, everything's happening in, in January. Um, January 3rd, there's new bank regulations to take effect. It's part, look up something called Basel 3. It's the, it's phase three of a several part phase of global banking, global banking systems. You know what? I'll just go ahead and put a link to the article so that you can read it down below. Please do check that. Those regulations are taking effect. Not sure how that's going to affect anybody. And that's one of the things they say in the article is they're not sure how that's going to affect everyone. All right, y'all. It has been wonderful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, prep it up, pack it up, and stack it up, y'all.